damage control again for the Catholic Church in San Francisco. This time, it's over using sprinklers on homeless people. Andrea Borba on the explanation from church leaders tonight. Andrea? Well, Liz, tonight the church says the sprinklers on either side of the building have been turned off, but they were on for two years, apparently going off three times a night, showering the homeless out of their sleep a minute each time. First reaction was, I, I thought we learned that lesson years ago. Pouring water on the homeless seeking shelter from the San Francisco chill and alcoves was started to reduce the amount of feces and needles left outside. It's a problem St. Anthony's Dining Hall deals with too. We do that every day here in the Tenderloin where there's those kinds of things in front of our doors every day, but you do it in a different way. You deal it people to people. You don't bring in a system to chase people away. In a news conference, Bishop William Justice even suggested dousing the homeless actually conserved water. In fact, what someone told me, one of the janitors, I believe, or something, is it takes more water to clean up afterwards than what water they were using from the sprinklers. I'm not trying to mitigate it because we are apologizing and saying we're getting rid of it, but it was about three times a night and it was for about a minute. The gaff is just the latest PR nightmare for the archdiocese. In recent months, the archbishop has tried to force high school teachers to sign a morality clause and even block students having a prayer protest of that clause from the cathedral with guards and barricades. It's raising questions about San Francisco being out of step with the Vatican. Pope Francis has, has been very clear about what the church is called to do. He talks about us being uh, not a city on a hill or something, but a, a field hospital that's out there on the front lines. In San Francisco, Andrea Borba, KPIX 5. The Catholic Church in San Francisco does run more than a dozen programs to help the homeless.